Okay, I'm just going to make a, a new replet here. And again, I'm going to select Python. I'm just going to call this a Python simple calculator. I'm going to work on numerical input. Okay, so it should load up for me here. Great. I'm just going to hide the files here. I just have that main.py. That's all I need. And I'll just hide that. Um, line one, we'll just do a comment. Python simple calc. Now again, I want to do this for JavaScript programmers, so I'm actually going to focus on the JavaScript here first, and let's do this in JavaScript. Um, so I'm just going to, similar idea, get some input, but this time I'm going to ask for a number. Let num1 be assigned prompt. Um, enter a number. And then num2. Let's say enter another number. And then I'll do the, the actual calculation part. I'll often call that process. Um, total is assigned num1 plus num2. And then we'll output the result. And I can just do something like num1 plus plus num2 plus, oh, this is annoying. Um, well, it's not that annoying, but I, I just say the sum of the two numbers is, and then we can do total. Just to, just to keep it, it is nice to be able to print out the, what the two numbers are, and um, we could do that, but it is for the sake of space and time. I'm going to keep it simpler. So let's try to run this. Right, so we get our inputs, the prompt to store into these variables. We do our, our math, do a little calculation, and output the result. Hit refresh here, let's enter 20, let's enter 30, and the sum of the two numbers is 2030. Okay, so this was just a good reminder that when we do the prompt function, it returns um, the user's input as a string, and we need to convert that to a number. In JavaScript, we can do it simply by just putting a plus sign in front. And that unary plus operator will automatically convert the number to a string, and then it does the addition properly. Okay. Or we can use the number function, like so, where we wrap the entire, right, whatever the prompt returns, we put inside of the number function. Um, and that will work as well. And in fact, I am going to do it that way because that's more similar to what Python does. Um, let's just make sure that's working. So 50, 70, we get 120. Good. Okay, so now let's see what that looks like in Python. So again, I'll get some input, and I'm just going to go num1, no let required, and I'm going to assign that to be input. Please enter a number. And then... <clears throat> num2. Please enter another number. Okay, and then we can do our process. And we'll just go total is assigned num1 plus num2. And then our output. And for that we do print. And the sum of the two numbers is... And then we have our total. Okay. And if we wanted to, we could add a period to the end there. Okay, so very similar, right? Input, um, get the input from the user stored in the variables, do a little calculation, right? Take what's in this variable, take what's in this variable, add them together, store it in a new variable called total, and then we output the result. There's going to be some problems, though. Let's see what this does. Okay, so please enter a number, 20. Please enter another number, 30. The sum of the two numbers is 2030. Okay, so very similar to what we expected with what or what happened in JavaScript, right? Input returns a string. Input returns a string. So it just added the strings together 
and then when we add strings together it just concatenates it just joins them together so how do we do this well in python instead of um, there just being a generic number data type there's actually um, python distinguishes between integers and floats um, but there is a function called int that we can wrap this whole thing around okay sorry just getting a little wider here and same thing here int and that should take whatever the user types into this input function right whatever they reply to reply to this and then it should convert that to an integer and then num1 and num2 will be integers so it should do the math properly and then we output a result so let's see what we get here 20 30 and i get an error message okay traceback file line 11 so right here in this print statement um, type error can only concatenate string not integer to string ah so because num1 and num2 are now integers total is an integer and now we've got the string and we're trying to add to the string a, an integer plus another string okay so there's two ways to do to deal with this one way is to just do a, an str function so just like we have an int function that converts a string to an integer the str function will convert a string or a float to or, or an, an integer or a float to a string um, and then once i convert that total that variable to a string then i should be able to add them together let's try that 20 and 30 yay the sum of the two numbers is 50. okay that works now one thing i can mention is the the print function actually is instead of adding these things together we could actually just go use commas and if we want to print multiple things you can just separate them by commas and the advantage of doing it by commas like that is it says print this and print this and print this and it automatically separates them by spaces and it automatically converts um, from a string to a number if needed but then see we get that extra space at the end between the period so i, I don't know if i like that as much um, and it's good to show you the idea of um, converting how we can convert integers or floats to strings okay so this is a simple calculator right gets a numerical input um, let's let's try a couple of things what if I tried putting like 23.4 oh it gives me an error right away okay invalid literal for int so it's it's th this program if I'm converting to an int it's expecting just integers to be typed in if I wanted to allow decimals we would use float okay and that'll convert the string to a floating point number let's try that so 23.5 and 12.2 and then it'll add those fine it'll be able to handle the decimals okay and and you know what? i don't want you to worry about that too much just decide on your calculator that you're making and do you want to have integer inputs or float inputs and just uh, just go with it um, and then of course for for math operations right in the console we can actually play around with stuff right star just like javascript star is multiplication um, you can do subtraction, um, division, of course. Um, there's a modulus, right? Gives you a remainder. There's actually something called floor division, which is kind of cool. If you do a double divide, it'll divide and just give you the, the result without the remainder. Um, exponents, 5 to the power, star, star, 2. All right, you can do exponents like that. So this so is very similar to JavaScript, the basic math operations that you can do. Um, that, that star star will come in handy. I think you have to do a Pythagorean calculator. So if you wanted to take the square root of 25, you could go 25 to the power of a half to 0 0.5. Gives you the square root. Okay, anyway, that's the main idea of um, numerical input with Python, being able to build a simple calculator. All right, get some input, convert it to numbers, do your calculation, output the result. Okay, hope that made sense.
Take care and we'll see you in the next video.